In the deepest reaches of space where time stretches and the very fabric of reality feels thinner, Voyager 1 continues its lonely journey. Launched in an era when disco ruled Earth and humanity had yet to imagine smartphones or the Internet, this spacecraft has far outlived its creator's wildest dreams. Designed for a brief mission to capture images of Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 1 defied expectations and became the first man-made object to enter interstellar space. But now, nearly five decades later, it may be sending back its most important message yet. Somewhere in the frozen silence beyond the heliosphere, has Voyager 1 stumbled upon something impossible? Recently, NASA scientists monitoring the spacecraft's transmissions detected something that defied logic and anomaly that shook the core of everything we thought we understood about deep space. This wasn't just a system glitch, this was a signal that didn't belong. And what made it truly unsettling was the idea that Voyager 1 might not have sent it alone. As this mystery unfolded, one question began to weigh heavily on the scientific community. Has Voyager 1 made contact with something or someone out there? Voyager 1's odyssey began on September 5th, 1977, launched as part of NASA's ambitious mission to explore the outer planets. Its initial objective was simple, gather data from Jupiter and Saturn, capture high-resolution images, then fade quietly into history. But Voyager was not built to die quietly. Thanks to a rare planetary alignment, it used gravitational slingshots to hurl itself beyond our solar system, charting a path into the unknown. For 45 years, it has sent back invaluable data on cosmic radiation, plasma waves, and magnetic fields surviving far beyond its expected lifespan dot today. Voyager 1 drifts more than 15 billion miles from Earth, powered by a dwindling radioactive isotope generator that keeps a few vital instruments online. Through NASA's deep space network, it continues to whisper across the stars. The signal is faint, the data slow, but its legacy is monumental. Yet nobody expected that its most shocking message would come not in its early years, but now dot in. Early 2022, NASA engineers noticed something odd. Voyager 1 was transmitting a repetitive stream of binary code a strange, endless loop that made no sense. At first, the team suspected a fault in the telemetry system, an expected malfunction for a spacecraft operating so far from home. But as they dug deeper, the mystery only deepened. The signal wasn't random. It had structure. Even more unnerving, it appeared to originate from a computer on board Voyager that hadn't functioned in decades. Engineers quickly worked to reroute the data flow, eventually restoring normal communication. But the central question lingered. How had the probe managed to reroute its signal? Through a long-dead system, under normal conditions, such an act would be prevented by multiple fail-safes. No alerts had been triggered. No errors were logged. It was as if Voyager 1 had made the decision on its own a rogue maneuver. That shouldn't have been possible. While this glitch raised many eyebrows, what followed turned quiet skepticism into something more serious, fear. When normal data transmission resumed, the sensor readings had changed. Voyager 1 began reporting energy fluctuations never before recorded in interstellar space. There were unusual patterns in the magnetic field, unexplained oscillations in plasma density and embedded within the signal, a faint pulse, not natural, not cosmic noise, a deliberate, rhythmic beat, a fingerprint etched into the fabric of space. NASA, trying to avoid public alarm, suggested the anomalies might stem from instrumentation degradation, but leaked internal memos told a different story. Off the record, a few scientists admitted that the signal resembled artificial interference technology not made by human hands. It seemed that Voyager 1 hadn't just drifted into darkness. It had brushed against something structured, something designed, in a bid to better understand the phenomenon. NASA turned to machine learning. They trained an AI system on decades of Voyager data, tasking it with identifying irregularities. What it discovered shocked the team. The strange pattern embedded in the signal resembled a handshake protocol, a form of communication. But from whom and why now, after so many years of silence? A Nobel Prize-winning physicist, 
brought in as a consultant, reportedly warned that the data bore similarities to theoretical models of non-human communication. If true, this wouldn't just be Voyager's greatest discovery. It would be the most transformative moment in human history. As NASA prepared a public statement, the world held its breath. But behind the scenes, the questions only multiplied. Are we truly ready for what Voyager 1 may have found? As scientists scrutinized the data further, something even stranger emerged. Spectral analysis of Voyager's archival telemetry revealed that this wasn't the first time. The anomaly had appeared. Faint traces echoes really had been present in earlier transmissions, long dismissed as background noise. But with fresh eyes and the assistance of enhanced AI tools, those fragments formed a breadcrumb trail through space, all pointing toward a single direction just beyond the heliopause, where solar winds end and a true interstellar medium begins. That region, once thought barren, now appears to house an energy field unlike any we've catalogued. It pulses, it shifts, and it appears to respond subtly to Voyager's presence, as if the probe had not simply passed through by chance, but had been noticed, perhaps even awaited, observed, and now that it's been seen, something out there is beginning to respond. One of the most puzzling findings could rewrite our understanding of physics itself. When researchers adjusted for Doppler shifts and recalibrated Voyager's clock, they noticed a delay in signal timing that didn't match its projected trajectory. This wasn't a communications lag. It was a temporal discrepancy one that should have been impossible unless time itself had been. Warped dot one hypothesis, discussed quietly at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, is staggering. That Voyager one may have passed through a temporal boundary or zone in which time and causality behave unpredictably. This is not mere speculation. Voyager's onboard clock appeared offset by milliseconds that couldn't be explained by speed alone. Some engineers believe the probe may have experienced time dilation, not from motion. But due to proximity to an unknown gravitational or energetic anomaly, if true, then Voyager 1's transmissions may not be reporting events happening now. They could be echoes of something that's already occurred or even more unsettling. Something that is yet to come. This leads to another haunting detail. Voyager didn't leave Earth empty-handed. It carried with it the golden record, a copper. Disc containing images, sounds, music and greetings from humanity. A poetic gesture. A message to the stars. But now, that message has taken on new meaning. Deep within the anomaly signal was found a frequency one matching the tone, used to encode the golden record. Not a coincidence, a reference. It's as if something out there received our message and is now responding. A reverse handshake, a reply, one that had waited for us to hear it. This raises a chilling thought. If something has been decoding our message, how long has it been watching? Why wait until now to respond? And then just as suddenly as it began it stopped. The pulse vanished. The routing returned to normal. The strange oscillations disappeared. Voyager 1 resumed its standard telemetry stream as though nothing had happened. But NASA's team knows better. They're still watching, still listening. Because silence in this case doesn't mean absence. It means choice. Whatever Voyager encountered chose not to reveal everything. It left us a fragment. A sliver of truth, just enough to make us look again. Perhaps that was the point all along to wake us up, to remind us that behind the veil of stars something else watches, waits, and now that we've heard, the real question is, are we ready to listen for over for decades? Voyager 1 has wandered through space as our cosmic message, in a bottle hour voice adrift among the stars. But maybe, just maybe, that bottle didn't drift. Maybe it was found, and maybe the reply has just begun. What Voyager 1 experienced in the void wasn't just a glitch or noise, it was intentional, structured, deliberate, and then just like that it went silent again, dot as if something reached out, gave us a nudge on the shoulder, and whispered, across the darkness, are you ready for the truth? Because if Voyager 1 made contact if this really was an encounter, then everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe has changed. The age of cosmic solitude may be ending, and the age of cosmic awareness is just beginning.